What's up guys? John here. Hope you're having a great day and welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be breaking down how to play At Last by Etta James. I'm going to show you chord voicings through the entire song and just a typical approach that I might play if I was doing this song on a gig. And it's one that comes up pretty often so it's a really great song to learn. Before we get into the lesson, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. We post brand new guitar lessons every single day on the channel. There's hundreds of lessons on our channel for you to check out and tons to learn from. The goal of this channel is to reach as many people as possible and help the world get better at guitar. So just hitting the thumbs up button is really doing your part and helping YouTube push this video out to more people so more people can get value from it and we can all help each other. All right, with that said, let's get into the lesson. All right, let's break this down. We're gonna start off with the intro and we have a four bar intro where this string melody plays this classic line. And I'll show you the shapes that I would play for this. Here we go. Three, four. One, two. We're going to start out, the song's in the key of F, we're going to start on an F chord, and I like these thumb chords here. I'm going to play an F on the first fret. And then we're going to move up to an F over A. And that's going to be having that A in the bass there, 5, 3, 5, 6. Then we're going to go to B flat, same as F, just up here on the 6th fret and then B diminished. That's gonna be seven, six, seven, six. Now each one of these chords is getting two beats, so we're counting one, two, switch, two, B flat, B diminished. Then F over C, this is an F6 over C, and a lot of people play it like this. I just cover two strings there, so I'm playing eight, seven, seven, six. And that's gonna be F6 over C. You'll notice that the bass is walking up there. Then we're gonna go to D7 flat nine, which is five, four, five, four. Then D flat nine, four, three, four, four, and C13. And this is that same ninth shape plus the pinky. So three, two, three, three, five. So halfway through, we got the F6 over C, uh, F6 over C to D7 flat nine, D flat nine, and C13. So all together, that sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One. here and then the vocal comes in you know with the melody at last. then we're into the first a section and that's eight bars long it's gonna sound like this So we're going to start out with a very common progression called a turnaround progression. And we're just going to be going in the key of F from the 1 to the 6 to the 2 to the 5. And that's really just the majority of this song is based off of that progression. So we've got an F to a D minor 7, G minor 7, C7. We do that three times. Now 
Now on the third time, I like to throw in the Hendrix chord. Okay, so I played a C7 sharp 9 there. That's 3, 2, 3, 4. And then we move to an F, this time a D7 flat 9, to a D flat 9, to a C13. Very similar to the, the last two bars of the intro there. So we change that six chord to be that dominant seven flat nine. And then we walk down D flat nine, C13. So one more time, here's the first A. chord C13 now we're moving on to the second A which is very similar it's pretty much the same thing we just have a variation in the last two bars and this is at last the skies above are blue so So it's the same exact thing for the first six bars. So we're going F, D minor 7, G minor 7, C7, then again. Then the third time, if you want, throw in the Hendrix chord, C7 sharp 9. And then we're going to finish with this F to B flat 13 and back to F. Now there's a few ways you can do this. You can play the F here and then the B flat 13 like this. I'm playing the sixth fret of the low E, six, seven, eight. And the string now like Sometimes I'll do that, you know. And then go to like an F6, or you can just play B flat 13 and then back to F. All right, so next up we're gonna learn the bridge, and that goes to a G minor seven. This is where the lyrics go, I found a dream that I could speak to. Here's what it sounds like. So we start on a G minor 7, and we're going to play two beats per chord. We're going to go G minor 7 to C7 to F, and then F6. Then we go to E7, then we're going to move this up, F7, E7, A minor 7. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So all together, the first four bars, G minor 7, C7, F, F6, E7, F7, E7, A minor 7. And this chord here lasts for four counts. Then we go to D minor 7 to G13. Same as that B flat 13. Again, a lot of people play it like this. I like the thumb chord. And then we're gonna go to C, and you can play a major seven if you want. It's a nice sound, or just C. And then C sharp diminished seven. This is four, five, three, five. Then D minor seven, G 13, 
C7. So all together the bridge is, you know, from I found a dream, three, I found a dream, two, three, four. D minor seven, G13, C, C sharp diminished, D minor seven, G7, C7. So those will be the alter. And then we're back to the, you know, the altered there, Hendrix chord. And then we're back to the final A. And this is the you smile, you smile part. So this is F. mine you know we just hold that G minor 7 so basically this is exactly the same as the first A section we're gonna play F D minor 7 G minor 7 C7 and we'll do that again and then the third time we're gonna hold the G minor 7 so that's for you are mine and then you just rest and then you go, at, at last, then we're back to the outro, which is the same as the intro. We're going to go F, F over A, B flat, B diminished, F6 over C, D7 flat 9, D flat 9, C13. And then you end on F, B flat over F, and then F. There you go, guys. That's How to Play At Last by Etta James. Hope you got some value out of today's lesson. And before you go, I've got a free gift for you. In the description below, you can get a PDF that's over 100 pages long all about soloing. Check that out as my gift to you. Have fun practicing this song, and we'll see you guys in the next lesson.